video rolling. Good everybody. So this is the Fcast for the 23rd of March 2021. This is the behind the scenes. So let's have a look, see what we got. Okay. Go, go, done. Janet Anskin plus COVID plus Portal de Noticias. So just get everything ready and then we'll. What was that? Get ready? <laughs> Christina's over here. You can't see her though because she's uh, just finishing her brunch. Noemi Santana. Okay, translate that to English to make it easier for me. Okay, Janet, quick look. See how many we've got. Oh, that's good news. Under 65s on Wednesday. British couple assault police in a decky town. Clocks forward on Saturday. And the Canary Cast, we did that one. Okay. And the COVID 4271. Remember 4271. Four two seven one. In fact, I did that like yesterday, didn't I? Yeah, well, I'm doing it again today. Four two seven one. Click on Tenerife. Two two o one. Four two seven one and two two o one. Okay. So we're recording already, we're recording there already, just gonna play the music. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the AFCAST Tenerife Afternoons, I'm your host Tim Dowd. It's the 23rd of March 2021, happy Tuesday to Tuesday. As always on today's show we have a little bit of the weather update on COVID and we might even go into a couple of the uh, new restrictions that we've got. Then we'll nip over to Janet Anscombe and she's got a couple of interesting headlines there and we'll finish off by going over to the gobierno de canarias.org slash noticias and see what the government's saying. As always you can follow us on uh, anchor.fm slash lwmst or download the podcast from your favourite podcast app. If you're watching on YouTube, you can see we're on the balcony, beautiful blue skies. Don't want to give the game away before the start. Enjoy the show, everybody. There's going to be plenty of weather in the next few days, so they say. Here's a fog warning. Just thought I'd mix it up there. Anyway, so uh, the weather yesterday was a little bit cloudy. Day before was also cloudy in the mornings. Uh, today was beautiful sunshine, beautiful blue skies, a few wispy clouds over in the distance there. But uh, La Gomera is very clear today, which is uh, amazing because they have been promising that a Kalima is on our way. And that means that by Thursday, we should have higher temperatures and dust in the air. So enjoy yourselves today. Temperatures in the low 20s in the shade, uh, 19 last night. And um, it was 19 this morning, actually, at about 10 o'clock. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, yes. Um, I'm not looking at the forecast for the next week because it's always wrong. And we sit on the coast and we have these microclimates anyway. So if you are in Tenerife, don't forget to wear your 50 factor. It's going to be a lot hotter in the sun. And that was the weather for today, Tuesday, 23rd of March, 2021. COVID-19 update. Okay, the active cases here on the Canary Islands, if I remember it correctly, is 4,721 active cases. Going over to Tenerife, we now have 2,201 cases there. If I zoom into the municipalities, 
by pressing this little button here we can see that a thousand and a few um, in Santa Cruz Tenerife 500 in Laguna 109 Adeche, 95 Arona, 91 Granadilla de Abona and La Orotaba is over the 50 now at 53. The rest are under 50, so that's not too bad actually. So they have got some new uh, restrictions in place that started midnight on well, Monday morning at 0, 0100 hours. And that is basically we can only meet with four people now and only the people from uh, your own household can meet. Uh, more than that but they did say that you weren't supposed to meet um, in private domiciles and that meant that this week's balcony banter would have to be cancelled but the BOC was printed and in there it does say that this part of the restriction is only for the two weeks uh, before and after Easter so that means it's uh, stopping big families getting together over Easter which is a typical tradition here and uh, that's hoping that they're going to stop the spread there so that means that this balcony banter will go ahead as planned on the balcony and it's only the week afterwards and the week after that that we'd have to find somewhere out on a street in a park or in a restaurant or bar um, because they are places that people can control and at home uh, there is no control really so uh, the only thing is if the police knock on your door and say how many people have you got in you just say four people and they say we want to come in and look say no because then it'd be five <laughs> Okay, so that was COVID for today. Now let's go over to JanetAnscombe.com in Tenerife, Janet Anscombe. Well, the headlines for today is um, there's a Spain COVID vaccine update. Uh, resumes administering AstraZeneca vaccine on Wednesday to under 65s. And British couple assault police in a Dehi town after being told not to park in a disabled bay. Uh, clocks forward this Saturday evening and we still don't have a definitive conclusion to the twice yearly changes that should have ended this year. Oh dear. Okay, so those three, let's start with the clocks. We'll zoom into this article on Janet's website. And she says, despite decades of talk and a couple of years of clear policies and promises, it seems that the 2021 will continue with the endless change of the clocks for spring and autumn. Nearly 5 million EU citizens responded to an EU consultation in 2018 saying that they wanted to stop the clock changes twice a year. And it was a proposal that by now, this spring, EU member states would have decided their preferred time zones. Nonetheless, though, the EU Commission has tabled that proposal and it's been revisited by the EU Parliament. An EU Council has still not come up with a joint position, even two years after the final whistle was blown on making a decision. This coming Saturday night, therefore, we will join the rest of Spain, which will join the rest of Europe in moving our clocks forward an hour in the full expectation that we will again have to move them back come autumn. I do wish they'd sort this thing out once and for all. I really dislike this unnatural resetting of time twice a year, says Janet. I agree. I agree. My grandmother used to think that uh, in the winter she got the extra hour every day. She'd wake up in November and sort of say, ooh, this extra hour makes a difference, doesn't it? Nellie Wynne-Jones. Nellie Wynne-Jones. Or Ellen was her real name. Ellen Wynne-Jones. Here we go. Uh, British couple assault police in a decky town after being told not to park in a disabled bay. I don't know why um, they've got to say British couple. It's like saying Iranian migrant or something like that. But uh, just two people were uh, assaulting police. Police say the British couple assaulted Adeki police local officers this lunchtime in the centre of Adeki town near the play park. The pair are described as tourists, but since tourists aren't able to leave the UK nor arrive in Spain, presumably these are people who live here but who aren't registered as residents. 
In any case, the assault seems to have arisen when the British couple were told by the police not to park where they intended because it was a disabled bay. The incident was filmed by several people in the area and residents and passers-by. One is below, and she puts a link there to a, uh, to a video. Uh, the incident was filmed, I've done that one. One is below, published by Buenas Tardes Canarias, and it seems clear both that one... Uh, I'll start that again. Thank you. That was Christina sneezing as well. One is below, published by Buenas Tardes Canarias, and it seems clear that no one was actually disabled and that it was not just the police officer who emerged in less than pristine condition. Our national reputation is not enhanced either. As can be seen in the video, official reinforcements arrived to assist the police. And there's the video for all and sundry to see. Okay. Let's go into the Spain COVID vaccine. Now, this is one that Janet updates regularly, and the update for the 22nd of March says National Health Secretary Carolina Darias has announced this evening that Spain will resume administering the AstraZeneca vaccine from Wednesday to all under the age of 65, because I think it was, uh, I think it was blocked for 55 and under originally, but now it's safe um, for 65 and under. So I might even get the AstraZeneca vaccine myself. Um, and also, uh, I'm in the group five that they're on at the moment. So that means that there are people getting the seventies, uh, in their eighties and in the seventies, again, in the vaccination first, and then people in the sixties, which is me now, will be getting it later. Christina should be getting one either this, no, when is it? Uh, next Wednesday, next week, Wednesday. Okay. So that was Janet Anscombe for today. I'd like to thank Janet for doing this and she does a great service and fantastic. Thank you very much. JanetAnskin.com so Let's go over to the government website and see what they're saying there. They're leading with Noemi Santana, Canaries es una comunidad de libre de COVID-19 para mayores de personas con discapacidad. So I forgot to translate that into English. View original. Oh, it was translated into English and it didn't do it. Translate to English. Naomi Santana, Canary Islands is a community free of COVID-19 for the elderly and people with disabilities. Cool dude. Uh, Sanidad Registrar, okay, this is all in Spanish now. Sanidad is registering 190 cases of COVID-19 in the last 24 hours. Rodriguez apremia el estado para reestablecer la diferencia prescal. De los rodajes, cinematografías de Canarias. Rodriguez, a prima. I don't know what a premier means. Uh, so maybe a premier for the reestablishment of differential fiscal in the cinematographies in Canarias. I actually don't understand that. The Canarian government grants 7.7 .7 million of the artisanal industry and agriculture and fisheries operators. Okay, this is the budget where they've they've granted 7.7 .7 million for artisanal, which is like uh, handmade homemakers, industrial and agriculture and fishing operators. And culture presents a new objective in art of scenes uh, for 2021. So if you want to go and see that and your translation engine actually works, then you can uh, go and read all about that on gobiernodecanarias.org slash noticias. I would like to thank each and every one of you for today for joining me in the Afcast Tenerife Afternoons. Don't forget to download the podcast or favourite it or do something like that if you want to be notified when the new ones are available. I do them Monday to Friday. I might do a Sunday one once in a while, but uh, I think we're taking weekends off. 
can follow us on YouTube. We go live Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Plus there's a few, uh, you'll actually be able to see this there on uh, Monday to Friday. We got a page on Facebook at LWMST. And we post pictures to Instagram, Living with MS Tenerife. If you're a Twitterer, we do have a Twitter account, but we only automatically publish there. And that's uh, LWMS Tenerife. But if you want to know anything, go to our website, timothydowd.com. And there you can send me a message, learn how to sponsor the channel. You can even find out how to join me live Monday, Wednesday and Friday on screen and ask a question. Uh, with that, I do need to talk to you first, though. We're vetting people now. And, of course, the blogs. Thank you very much and goodbye. So that's uh, the recorded version is out, but I think we're still transmitting to the to the video. Thanks for watching. If you like this content, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, Google thinks that you might like something here. And if you want to uh, learn how to support the channel, just click on our um, little picture of our wedding there. Let me just show you the rest of the weather. And we'll see you in the next one.